What's going on, everybody? It's your boy King. Um, gonna do a review on the Detroit Pistons versus Raptors last night. Um, first and foremost, I want to say that um, for a lot of us fans and um, followers that's panicking, hold your horses. It's the very first game of the season. It's not easy to come out with a victory um, on the road for your very first uh, game of the season. So uh, I'm not making that e excuse for the play, but um, a lot of the a lot of the assumptions that I've seen on Twitter um, and Facebook kind of drove me crazy last night. The way that people was trashing this team ridiculously over the first game of the season. Uh, and uh, of course a road game. So we get our chance to open in our own home court Friday against the Orlando Magic, man. So um, just calm down and, and sit back and think. Today is a Thursday. All the emotions should have been left. So um, I'm gonna give y'all uh, what I seen last night from my perspective. These is my opinions and what I think. Um, first and foremost, with um, KCP, a lot of the the hate with KCP is over the contract situation. Of course, knowing that he's he wants twenty million, which is not a lot of money um, today in the NBA, especially according to the the continuous rising um, salary situation. Um, it almost looks exactly the same as a couple years ago when we got uh, Reggie Jackson, which was a bench player, and we paid him $80 million. A lot of people panicked about that. But if you look at it today, um, that is a hell of a bargain. And um, Stan Van Gundy and his staff, they, uh, you know, uh, Bowers, they know that. Um, and that's, that's why they're willing to find some type of way to keep him here. Um, and he also wants to be here. So, um, you know, a lot of people is getting down on him on his shooting last night, what I saw from him in the game. Most of his shots was in the last five seconds of the shot clock due to the offense not being able to run right with Andre Drummond on the bench. Um, Andre Drummond is key, and he's very important to make that offense flow. And him getting silly fouls and getting into foul trouble. On top of that, with the referees blowing them ticky-tack whistles, um, and not blowing the whistles, especially when he got elbowed in the mouth. But it's very important for him not to get in foul trouble like that because that pick and roll is what opens up our offense. Our offense is based and established on Andre Drummond's pick and roll. Um, even though we don't have our star point guard, Reggie Jackson, another reason why you guys need not to panic. Uh, because I feel like if Reggie was playing, it would have been a, a total si uh, different situation. Um, you know, DeRozan got off, uh, and it was absolutely nothing that you can do about it. And that wasn't on KCP by itself. It was on him and the entire team. And it was actually nothing that they can do about it. Because uh, if you if you go back and watch the game, watch the highlights, just watch DeRozan's highlights. Um, catch that on YouTube, and you'll see that almost every shot, it was a player dead in his face. But the shots kept falling. It's nothing you can do when somebody is unconsciously playing like that. I don't care how good defense is, of a defense that you play. You can't get up on them, especially with the refs, you know, with the ticky-tack foul calling. So uh, hands were in his face, most definitely. But he kept knocking the shots down. There's nothing you can do about that. So the best thing to do is take other people out the game. But... And they weren't able to do that because Andre Drummond had to sit on the bench, which brung in Aaron Baines, and Aaron Baines cannot check those type of centers. I brung that up before in the past in my past videos. Aaron Baines is not a match for those type of centers. One that's mobile, that can run down the court, and, you know, uh, that's, that's athletic. Aaron Baines cannot check those type of centers. Um, and also Bobon. Bobon's huge. Yes, that's right. He is huge, but he's not mobile. So Jonas, uh, Jonas, I mean, Jonas Valachunas was able to do what he wanted to do. And that played a big part of this loss, of course, with his numbers. Um, they took Kyle Lowry out the game, I felt. So 
they did do that. They took other players out the game, Damari Carroll and, you know, stuff like that. But Andre Drummond, uh, his foul trouble was the reason that the Pistons lost this game. It wasn't because this player and that player, Tobias Harris and Marcus Morris played very well. Um, the bench didn't really do much. Um, and Ish Smith, had, well, um, he had six and seven, which is good for backup numbers, but starting uh, for Casey, I mean, for Reggie Jackson, it's going to be a problem. Um, KCP on the offensive end, uh, even though he didn't shoot that many shots, like I said before, they were in the the, five, the last five seconds of the shot clock most of the time. And he did shoot that air ball, but I kind of believe that's because Drummond was down there and he was indecisive on if he wanted to pass or if he wanted to shoot that shot. If you go back and look at that highlight, um, I'm not making excuses for him. Don't take it as that, but um, yeah, you know, it's a lot, a lot of situations played a role in the Pistons losing this uh, first game. And they can go back to the drawing board and do what they ne they need to do and make adjustments. That's what it's all about. Um, so them facing first game adversity is uh, it's okay. It's okay. Everybody need to calm down um, and, and just you know chill, man. Um, we got a chance Friday to come back and do do much better. Uh, Andre Drummond um, on defense, I feel like was like a days ago last night, and the reason why is because of the referees. Uh, calling that many fouls. You can't expect somebody to go out there and just try to be aggressive on the defensive end when the referee's blowing whistles of a ticky tack fouls. Mm -hmm. So, um, not saying that, you know, the total reason we lost is because of the refs. It was just a collective group of things. That's the reason why we lost this game last night. Um, uh, Baino Udrif, of course, just got here. So, you can't really expect nothing out of Baino. Um, but I really would have liked to have seen Ray McCallum instead of him. I still believe that Ray McCallum is very, very talented, and I think he would have did a much better job uh, playing backup for Ish Smith last night. You seen Stanley Johnson come in after two guard, like I've been saying over and over again. Um, he came in as the backup two guard, but he wasn't really able to do nothing. You know, the momentum and you know everything was already out the game. Everybody, you know, expects Stanley Johnson to, to, to develop into an all-star, potential superstar. But game one of the NBA season in 2016 is not going to tell you that he's not going to do that. So, um, you know, John Lewis struggled with his shot. And, and like I said, players just did. They just couldn't, you know, get it last night. And I told y'all in a video before, previous yesterday, even though I took it down, I told y'all yesterday, uh, previous in my video, that you can expect the Pistons to come out and play sloppy in the first game. And that's exactly what I meant. Um, a lot of emotions, but being on the road, you know, the focus just wasn't there. Um, especially after, you know, the devastating loss of Andre Drummond. <laughs> Going out within the first three or four minutes of the game, which is way, way too soon. I feel like Stan Van Gundy didn't have to hold him out that long, though. But uh, as you can see in the second half, Andre Drummond tried. He tried to pick it up. He tried to fight, you know. And that's because of the foul situation lifted with him only having two fouls and it being the third quarter. So that goes back to the point to where I said Andre um, defense had a part to do with the foul situation. Um, but other than that, man, um, glad to see the season started. Definitely glad to see the season started. A lot of close games in the NBA. I watched all of them last night that I could. Um, Philadelphia almost beat OKC. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, you know, when teams come out in their first game, you know, crazy things happen. Of course, you've seen with Golden State, uh, the way that they got spanked, uh, them not being able to rebound and play defense. But at the same time, the chemistry wasn't there because they got a new, they got a new player uh, as well. So, I don't know, man. Um, but let me know what you guys think, man. Leave it in the comments, man. Let me know what you thought about the game and the things that I said uh, and what you think we'll do in Orlando this uh, tomorrow. So um, I will definitely be seeing y'all tomorrow. And that's that. It's your boy, King. Good morning, everybody. Peace.